You're not planning to Tarzan it off there, are you? What happens when the branch breaks and you fall on your noggin? Well, I'm telling you right now, if you swing on that branch, the branch will break. It's not going to break. It will break. I'm going as hard as I can. Good morning, welcome back to the McNeil fam. It is Saturday, it is early. I have been up since five o'clock. The coyotes actually woke me up this morning. I could hear them outside the window. I think they're out uh, just at the base of the mountain, just kind of howling away. So I've been up for a while. Owen's got an early morning soccer game, so we're just grabbing some fuel real quick. And then we're gonna race down a Spanish fork and play a little bit of soccer. scored right off the bat, right at the beginning of the game, and uh, the other team just came back and uh, punched a goal in. Had a long shot from uh, quite a ways out, and uh, just kind of slipped right past our goalie, but he's saved quite a few already, so we're playing really well. It's, uh, it's been a good game. We've had quite a few shots. They've had quite a few shots, so uh, the rest of the game should be pretty good. Get it, bud. You got it. The game is almost over. It's two to two. Uh, each team is just pushing to try to get one more goal in. The refs are definitely not on our side today. This guy's uh, got a lot of bad calls. He's super sensitive. He's actually uh, yelled at our sideline a couple times. And the parents were yelling at our kids, like, you know, encouragement, you know, go, go. He gave over, gave us a sideline warning. I uh, thought we were yelling at the other team, but apparently he's confused. So anyways, we are just hoping that we can get one more goal in here quick and uh and win this thing another tie yep <laughs> i hate ties dude we had so many shots that almost went in there was one shot that went over the goalie's head bounced and then bounced off the top of the bar i mean it was so close to dropping in there what a hard fought game dude you hustled yeah. and uh dude had a lot of good shots Just couldn't get in a drop today but we are going to uh, head on home, see what Terry and the girls are up to, and then decide what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Owen and I are gonna make a quick pit stop on the way home. We're gonna run into a sportsman's warehouse. I know Austin just went fishing. He probably took most of our gear, so we're gonna grab just a few things so Owen and I can go fishing a little later tonight. So we're gonna run in here, have a look, see what they got. Right here, they keep the fishing report of all the local uh, fishing spots. What's working good, what's not. Should get a new fly though, oh. it's kind of old school. Do you need a fishing fanny pack? Uh, yes. These are essential to catching the big fish. Nice fishing tents. This is back here to the uh, expensive wall. All the fancy baits. Welcome to the expensive wall. I think we've got what we came for. We've grabbed a few Rapalas right here. We grabbed a few cast masters, handful of flies. So I think it'll get us all stocked up. We're ready to head home. This is for when you catch your fish. 
And it won't stop flopping, then you hit it, and then it stops flopping. <laughs> It's a fish beater. This is also essential to catch monsters. <laughs> it looks like Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett caught monsters today. I guess he did. He caught raccoons, I can tell you that. Yeah, those are monster raccoons. You know how much those sell for? How much? I have no idea, that's why I asked you. <laughs> I don't know, 30, 40 bucks? Yeah, Do you want to trade your Kawasaki for this thing? I'm seriously debating it, okay? This is sick. <laughs> it's got a rack on the back, dude. You could put your lunch back there, strap it down. All the way Any to school. Anything else you need, right dynamite. on the back. I mean, wait. Not Joe Libre, how do I get them? We just got back from the soccer game. We're just getting a little lunch going, and Carmen here has a magic trick she wants to show everybody. So, there's something weird under this red rack, right? Cups. Cups. All right, we got cups. <laughs> now, you see, there's a bar right there. Got it. Yeah. Okay, now. Now, it's right there. Oh my, how does he do that? And look at this. And there's not one underneath it? So you got the ball to go on top of the blue cup. Yeah. Oh then. my, magical. Uh, we, more? It just jumped up another one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Man, you're so good at this magic stuff. And then... Yeah? Put it right there. And then you cover it back up. And cover it back up. And then you reveal how it works. That's it? You reveal how it works? No, not yet. Oh. So, what you do, let's get it ready again. Okay. okay. So, you pull it off. Voila! Okay. And you have the ball under here, right? And then you take the cups and you put it in front and you grab the ball. And then, you lift this one up and the ball's there. But I yeah. have three different balls. Oh, I, I knew you had different balls. I knew that had to be it. I was hoping it was like real magic and it jumped from one to the other, but I knew it had to be something. I have more. <laughs> you have more magic tricks. I can go grab one. Okay, let's see another magic trick. All right, we are all set up for magic trick number two. Ready, go. Ooh, we got a red box. Okay, we're gonna open the red box. Got another box inside of the red box. Looks like a container. We're gonna open this container. There's another container inside of that container. Oh my gosh. But there's a dice inside of this container. Okay. So, see. How the dice is on the number one. Got it. Okay, we're so we're gonna put it back in here. Put it back in all the containers and boxes. So was the number one facing up? Yes. Got it. Okay, now we're gonna open it. Whoa, whoa hold on a second. I mean, most magicians use abracadabra, but you use but a little bone? Yeah. Okay, all right. First, we gotta shake it. Open. Six more. Open. Six more. Okay. But how on earth could that dice change? Well, I don't know. How on earth does that happen? <laughs> Tell us, Carm. Okay, so what you do is you take the dice and you show them that it's on number one, but when you put it in, you switch it to number three. <laughs> wow, okay. Man, you should hit the road with your magic tricks, card. Nobody's gonna... They're not good magic tricks. They're good magic tricks. I like them. Because they're little kid magic tricks. I still think they're cool. Okay, I have one more magic trick. So, you see this weird box, right? We're gonna open it. There's nothing in here, right? Just set it down and close it up. What the heck? How is there a card in there? <laughs> How in the world did that happen? We're gonna close it. It's gone. Man, I gotta get in one of those boxes. 
I'm just good at making money disappear. It's, it's, you know, just having money show up that's hard. Okay, this is the last and final trick. So, I have a weird box thing. There's a weird hole. Why don't we fill in that hole? Great, we filled it in. <laughs> this is the one that has the money in it. I thought the other one had the money. Nope. Should I want the space filled? Nah. Don't know where it goes. Well, thank you for showing everybody your sweet magic tricks, huh? You're welcome. Okay, so remember yesterday where Carmen was well, where she did her backflip, now she's gonna try it again. And my mom's at the window watching. Three, two. Oh. Yeah! Nice. Nice, that was good. Carmen and Owen and I are gonna go fishing for a little bit. Terry and Claire are supposed to come down in a little while. Claire's hanging out with her friends. And so Terry was gonna give her just a little bit more time hanging out. And they're gonna come down. So we're just going to a little pond that's close by our house. Austin and his buddy have been catching quite a few big fish here, so. I'm hoping we can at least uh, get a couple, at least one for Owen, one for Carmen, uh, and have some fun. We just got here to the pond, and uh, there's a handful of people here, some kids over here swimming, there's a few people fishing right here. A couple guys down to the left of us, and one guy out here in a canoe. A bunch of rocks getting down here. Gotta be super careful so we don't fall. Carmen is ready to fish, but I gotta come down and help her. I've gotta throw it in for her so she can reel it in. Yep, just reel it in slow, let it sink. The wind's really blowing. These fish are going to be on the bottom. Let's see what you got. Let's see how far you can cast it. Yeah, that's about right. Reel it in nice and slow. Huh, fairly slow. You can kind of... A little more speed. I got something. Oh, you got one? Ooh, I think you caught some moss. Yep, caught some moss. I swear I caught some in it like that. <laughs> That's because you caught the moss. Here, pull, bring it over towards me and I'll help get it off there. <laughs> Babe, are you having fun? No. Why not? Because it's annoying. It's annoying, why? Because we're not catching fish. Oh, sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you just have fun. Sometimes you never have fun. Sometimes you never have fun. Sometimes you're just out here hanging out. I can't tell you how many days I've had, like the day Carmen is having right here, where you're just like, oh my gosh, can't we just catch a fish? Like, what do you want to eat? Just tell us. What do you want to eat? It's a trick. You just go through all your baits, keep switching them, move spots. Some days they're just not biting. Maybe it's just the pull of the moon. Who knows? Owen, have you caught any fish? No fish for Owen either. He's caught fish, but then they've gone by there. Oh no. There's moss on my fly and my bobber. I can help you. We have been fishing for a couple hours and still have not caught any fish. We've seen a bunch. There was a big fish that jumped right in front of us. It was huge, had a big red stripe on it, most likely a rainbow. But uh, we cannot seem to find the right bait for him, so. Carmen is cracking me up. She just kind of went off on this rant about not catching fish and how she hates fish and saying that how stupid they are. <laughs> I was just dying laughing, but she uh, she wouldn't let me film it. So she took off. She's over there by that tree, climbing a tree. So I'm gonna go over there. She wants to go back to the truck. So I guess we're we're just about done wrapping up here. You ready to go? Carmen, talk to me, babe. Tell me how your fishing experience was today. You have anything else to say? No. You had a lot to say back over there. <laughs> As we were walking back to the truck, Carmen here saw some raspberries. Some of these raspberry bushes are hanging through the fence. I assume at that point they're free game if they're going to let them grow on this side of the fence. So we're going to have a couple. Maybe it'll brighten up her day. 
Maybe it'll uh, put a smile back on her face so we can have an enjoyable evening. Carmen said she ate a bowl. More like, than a bowl. More than a bowl full of raspberries? A belly full of raspberries? Are you feeling better about life? Kind of. <laughs> Thank you, raspberries, for cheering Carmen up from a poor day of fishing. Look out there, across the water. Is it peaceful? Can't really see because of the sun, but sure. Just look at the water, though. The water and the trees, is it peaceful? Can't see because the sun reflecting off the water. <laughs> but you can see the water, right? Kind of. Try my glasses on. Now I can see it. Is it peaceful? No, not really. Not really? What? It is peaceful. And the fishing's terrible. Everybody says it's just about the scenery. It's just about relaxing. And I guess it is. But I'm with Carmen. I want to catch fish. <laughs> That's why I came out here. Because I wanted to get fish. Look at Owen. He's still over there just fishing away. You're not planning to Tarzan it off there, are you? <laughs> I was going to. <laughs> you were going to? <laughs> What happens when the branch breaks and you fall on your noggin? Then I fall on my noggin. That's when you crack your head open. That's when, that would be the fourth time I've cracked my head open. Well, let's not make it the fourth time. Let's not do one, it. One, actually my third time. Oh. One, two. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you swing on that branch, the branch will break. It's not going to break. It will break. Did it break? You didn't put all your weight on it. I did. See, I, this is all my weight. It is? Going as hard as I can. Didn't break. We are headed home. We've had enough fishing for today. Didn't catch any fish, but we're gonna come again soon and uh, try it again. Hopefully mom's got something ready for dinner. We just got back from fishing and uh, Terry has just about got dinner ready. She's cooking uh, some spaghetti tonight. But uh, Carmen here got her rollerblades on, was trying to ride a scooter with her rollerblades at the same time. Fell back, hit her elbow, came inside crying. She's been complaining for about an hour now that her elbow hurts. What happened, babe? So earlier this morning, my shoulder hurt really bad. And then I was right, I had my rollerblades on and then I saw a scooter in the garage. I was like, wait, let's try it. So I got on the scooter while riding my rollerblades. I slipped back onto the sidewalk, hit my back, my head, and my elbow. And my shoulder was hurting, my elbow was hurting, it just hurt really bad. And I couldn't move it from this position and this position. And so I just got the sling. So is it still hurting? Yes. So you can't, you can only move it like how far? I can only, like, I can only move it like up into here. That's how far I can move it. But you it. can't straighten it out. Without it hurting really bad. Oh no. All right, so we may have to take her into the hospital, get that looked at. I don't know if she just bruised her elbow. That's kind of what I'm guessing. But uh, if she complains about it all night, then we're probably gonna have to get up in the morning and take her in the hospital, see if she chipped the bone. If anything's cracked, anything weird. So we will keep an eye on her. But right now, it's dinner time. Lasagna's done? Lasagna is done. Lasagna's done. We got some garlic bread. I've never had like a broken thing before, so. I mean, I've had my head open a few times, but. But yes, no sure. broken arms? Nope. I haven't even broken a leg. Guys, we are making some progress on Claire's Halloween outfit. Here is what we have. A football player. She has got Owen's old jersey, his old pants. She's gonna borrow Austin's helmet. She's going as a football player. I told her that she should just start playing real football because she loves to tackle. She loves to hang out with the boys. She's good at football. So maybe it'll be that girl that can uh, tear it up out there on the field. What do you think? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a girl here in uh, Utah 
that was incredibly fast. I think she was a running back and she played tackle and uh, she was really good. So I think she may be a coach somewhere now, but could be you, Claire. Mm -hmm. Carmen is still nursing this hurt elbow. We're gonna see how many days this lasts. What's your guess? Do you think it's really broken? No. Do you think it's broken? I think it's sprained. Okay. You got a sprained elbow? I think you bruised it when you fell back on the concrete I and hit it. I think it. she's I think being dramatic. Just bruised it a little bit. And I can't move it, like I can't move it down more. Well, and I can't it, like let it rest in that sling for a day. Dad, think how sick it would be if I could do a chair and football and I'm just doing like backflips on the football field. Oh really? So you like cheer, run onto the football field, play, mm -hmm. and then come off and go back and cheer? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. You'd be like Bella. Yeah. Exactly. Bella and the Bulldogs. You think you can handle the Bulldogs? She used to be a cheerleader. Claire and the Knights. <laughs> Guys, comment down below. Which one should I be? A football player or Taylor Swift? I came up with Taylor. I came up with a football player. She can saw it on Pinterest. So. <laughs> Not an original idea. She found it on Pinterest. Yep. And this was not an original idea. It just popped up in my brain. Guys, thanks for going fishing with us today. Uh, I wish we would have caught at least a fish. <laughs> you know, it would have been nice. There was fish jumping all around us. Could not get one hooked. Terry loves to rub it in my face every single time <laughs> I come home and I don't catch a fish. So there's been a few of those. Every winter I go ice fishing over to Fleming Gorge, which is uh, between Idaho, not Idaho, Wyoming and Utah. And uh, it seems like I get skunked every time I go over there. It's like a three hour drive. Always ends up being an expensive trip. And I bring home zero fish. I just can't quite figure out why he continues to do it. If he just doesn't catch anything. Well, you have to fish often to catch it. You're not going to catch every single time. But Austin goes fishing like once a year and catches like 12 fish. He go once a year. He's like fishing like three times a week right now. Oh. Yep. Your numbers go up when you're fishing <laughs> that many times a week. So... Anywho, I'm gonna stop at the store and start buying fish when I come home from fishing. <laughs> just so Terry can stop giving me crap. But uh, we love you guys. Leave a comment below and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Good night.